Hey everybody, this is Paul Gilbert and I am here with AmericanMusical.com. <laughs> the blazer. I have got a blazer from 1981 and it's, it's relatively lightweight. And uh, I put DiMarzio, um a couple injectors in it. It's really different than like this, this guitar. This guitar's got a really flat neck, really wide neck, and really uh, thin neck uh, as far as the depth goes. Where the, the Blazer's much more of a traditional. And the thing that I had to get used to is that the radius on it is not is really not flat. It's really round, and I got to be actually. It's, it just makes it because the, the the thing you got to be able to do is Jimmy Page step and a half bend. Where you go. A step and a half. And on a, on a round radius, as you get up there, it can fret out. And it, it, I, I had it refretted, and the, my local uh, repair guy did a great job. Like, I can just get that bend to work. And it seems like on that guitar, for whatever reason, when I did lower, that kind of stuff, the definition on it is really nice. I gotta work for it a little bit. Because um, I have the action really high for, for slide. And, but you know, that, that's, that's the thing, I use eights. And with, with eights, you know, you got no excuse. You can do anything with those. They're uh, Ernie Ball RPS, which has the reinforced. I, I, even when I do use a whammy, I usually use uh, not the one where you clip the ball ends, but the ones where uh, it still has the ball ends. And a lot of those vintage Ibanez's have that. They're, they have some pretty cool traditional style whammy bars. And I, I, I put locking tuners on, which helps the tuning a bit. I would say the, the, actually the most important thing is not, it's, it's more the setup. If I've got eights and high action, that lets me grab the string for bending stuff. So I can, wherever I am, I, you know, because the harder bends are, are down lower towards the nut. And that, that is just more resistance on a bend like that. So if I got high frets, if, if, if I test out a guitar, that to me this is the bend. You, 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 if you're in G minor and you bend like those, those pentatonic, you got to get your elbow out here to grab it. And if the action's too low, you can't get that because it's, it's not hitting the right part of your finger. And uh, even with even with high frets, if, if my action's not high enough, and the thing with eights is um, even with the, because most people say, oh, I don't put the action high because it's not hard to play. With eights, it's not hard to play, and also I can bang away on it a little more without getting buzzes. Because if you have low action, you tend to have a light touch. Because if you hit it too hard, you get buzz because the strings vibrating. But man, what feels better than a vibrating string? It'd be able to you know. <laughs> That's, that, that's so much fun to be able to have that and have it really resonates. You know, it's not just a visual thing, it's like it really is creating something. My journey to eights was I, um, I, I was doing uh, like a lot of guitar clinics where you don't get days off. So you, you're just doing show after show after show and it would wear my calluses down, especially if it's sweaty. And so I brought eights as like in case of emergency. So if my calluses were just, if I just burned through them from playing so much, I'd be like, okay, well, eights, I'll be able to handle it. And I found, you know, once in a while that emergency would happen. And I'd be like, okay, put the eights on, I'll, I'll get through the show. And be like, you know what? I just had like the best show of the tour. Like, there was, there was something magical going on. And I, and I started to put two and two together. It was like, every time I put a set of eights on, I play better. I, super light thing. It's, it's a, a Tortex. The wedge, which is just a hair bigger, it's a standard shape, but it's slightly bigger, and it's 0 0.50 millimeter. With, with the thin pick, you, it, it's it's great for strumming. And half the time now, even when I'm playing solo, I'm kind of strumming them. And it has such good it's a variation on with tone. One, they needed rock teachers. You know, rock was really becoming something that people were interested in. With Van Halen coming out, Randy Rose, it was a little more like these players that were somewhat studious, even though they were exciting and, and, and rock, they kind of knew what they were doing. 
And so people you know, were, were coming to the school wanting to learn rock. And I wasn't a great teacher at, at the beginning. I think I was a nice teacher. I don't think I really knew how to be as helpful as I am, am, am now. I always feel my job is just like, there's an easier way to get that done. <laughs> if you want to try it, you know, give it five minutes a day and in two weeks, if it's working, keep, keep doing it. Well, I, I would want to have Bon Scott on vocals, Angus Young on guitar, Malcolm Young on guitar, Cliff Williams on bass, and me on drums. That would be, man, playing drums for ACDC, that, that would be so awesome. 